Okay, I wanted to talk about something I've been hearing on the radio for the last six months. Oh, yeah. And that is country crossover music. Yes. Holy cow. Yeah. It's sort of weird how much they're bleeding into each other, like all of the genres. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I used to always say the only two genres I don't like are country and rap because together they're crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly, I've been converted since then. <laughs> but I, I did feel that way, too. Right. But uh, about country and opera. And then I got an education one night. A buddy of mine stayed up uh, drinking uh -huh. uh, together. And we listened to, we just listened chronologically. He's like, this is uh, Robert Johnson mm -hmm. and some Delta Blues. This is Hank Williams. This is, and wherever we went from there. Right, right. You know? There are a couple of country songs that when I was younger that I would still listen to, even though I like refuse to admit that I kind of liked country. Well, and I know a lot of people are kind of mourning bro country. Right. I love it. I want to hear more about your truck and your girl and your dog <laughs> and a Friday night and a little bit of chicken fried. Yeah. And down to the honky tonk. I mean, it is fun. I cannot get enough of that shit. Yeah, it's a good time. Probably because I didn't have any in my you know, earlier life. Right, right. But okay, just some examples. Yeah. Beyonce, no matter how you feel about her, she did uh, Texas Hold'em. Yeah. And it was huge. It's a bop. Um, the one that's on the radio right now, Kane Brown and Marshmallow, Miles on it. Yeah. Also super good. And like, can you imagine those two on stage together? Yeah. <laughs> like, they don't look like they match, but I mean, they make beautiful music, so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, and it's a jam. In fact, yeah. you know, we talked about songs of the summer last uh -huh. summer. Yeah. And I, I would almost put Miles on it at the top of my list right now. I could see it. But there's the Shibuzi bar song. Right. Mm -hmm. Kind of a references, interpolate, or interpolates, whatever. Um, Jay Kwan's Tipsy. Mm -hmm. uh, Jelly Roll, Save Me. That was Really anything last by year. Jelly Roll. But Dasha Austin, great song. Mm -hmm. Post Malone and Morgan Wallen, I had some help. So Post Malone, uh, I actually learned that he sang country like three or four years ago, something like. Maybe oh, I was five years ago. I was not aware of that. A hot minute ago is the point, but like you know, I only knew him from his like pop and pop, you know his big stuff, and then all of a sudden my ex husband showed me a video of him singing a country song, and he was good, and I was like. Posty, is this what you were supposed to be doing the whole time? The dude's good. He's good. I think he I might be better at country, man. Okay, well, and, and I suppose we'll see because it seems he's gravitating that away. He kind of is. But I love like circles. Mm -hmm. And what was the one from the Spider Man Or was that it? Oh, no? uh, Sunflower. Sunflower, yes. Mm -hmm. That one is pretty good. He's so great. Yeah. His face looks like a um, high schooler's notebook. <laughs> right, right. But honestly, but, I think that adds to his charm. Well, and I didn't realize, I saw an interview with him on, uh, he was he was on one of the Jimmies. Yeah. And uh, kept saying Mr. Mm -hmm. And then told the story of how he got really good at music was he was uh, dope smoking and playing Guitar Hero, you know, like, <laughs> yes. like the kids did back then. Yeah. And uh, one day he just thought, this isn't getting me anywhere or getting me anything. Mm -hmm. What if I got as good at the real guitar? Right. As I am a guitar hero. And so he did. Nice. See, I could never hit that orange button with my pinky. <laughs> so I'm probably never destined to play guitar. I'm going to try ukulele, though. Oh, there you if go. If I ever get some real free time on my hands, I've already decided that that's the first thing I'm going to try to learn. And then you can make an, a, cr a cringy non-apology apology yes, video. And... That's my entire plan. Hot. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, as I was thinking about these country crossovers, I thought, We've talked before about how mm -hmm. music and fashion is on a 25-year cycle. Right. So it kind of went back in my mind to 1999. Mm -hmm. Country crossover. Faith Hill and Shania Twain right. were huge. Super huge. Also, Garth Brooks and the, was yeah. really big at the time, too. Yeah. Yeah. And he was he was big. I mean, he's still I think big. in the entire 90s. Yeah. yeah. He's like the best-selling artist of all time or yes. something. Yeah. He's incredible, honestly. You got to give the man his yeah. props. I, I honestly love me some Garth Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually helped with his stadium tour in Boise. Okay. I was a stagehand for it. I yeah. had to like run on stage and move some instruments around for a second. It was actually really cool. That's super cool. But yeah, when he <laughs> started singing Friends in Low Places and the crowd was singing with him too, I was like, oh, this is why people like country. Oh. Yeah. And I wonder if, you know, people are just, with all the fake in the world, with all the yeah. Snapchat filters and mm -hmm. and now AI, quick, deep fakes. Wild, I know. 
you know, I wonder if people want to come back to something real and raw and sometimes personal. I think so. I mean, I know that there's a whole unplugged movement of people who are just trying to actively be off of their screens more, you know? And then I thought 25 years before 1999 was what? Oh, so that's 50 years ago now. It's 1974. Mm -hmm. And Kenny Rogers, Dolly mm -hmm. Parton were huge. Right. Yeah, you know, 9 to right. 5. Oh. Or was that 80s? I think that was 80s, but 9 yeah. to 5 was one of my favorite shows as a kid. I don't know what it was. I honestly, I remember being kind of sort of mesmerized by Dolly's boobs <laughs> in it. it. It's you're like a deer in headlights. It's hard to look yeah. away. Yeah. Well, and also like I wanted to be her so bad. <laughs>